What's going on? How are you guys this week? It is Wednesday and since I was not allowed to post for the past week, I didn't end up filming a vlog on Monday, which I should have, but I figured you guys would miss it this week. So we're gonna do it anyway, a little bit of a different day because we're not packing orders, but we've been pretty busy down here. And uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, I had the settings on my camera, the white balance completely wrong for like the past three months. So probably looks a little different for you guys today. Hopefully it's better. As usual, something has to go wrong every single week to basically spend all of the business profits on. This week, the HVAC systems, as I said, haven't been working, so the heat isn't on in the building, and it's pretty cold in here today. It's like 40 degrees in New York, so it's maybe 50 in here. And the New York City heat law might only be for residential, so I might be stuck fixing this on my own, which is probably gonna cost one to $2,000. And the bandsaw that I purchased a month or two ago that I showed you guys, uh, we were cutting some stakes on it and it turned off after a minute every time. So although the guy said the machine was wired for 110 volt, it's not working. So I got to have a technician come and look at this saw too. Re really every single problem is because I don't own the building and I don't have correct three phase electrical on it. And it has cost me probably tens of thousands of dollars at this point. So uh, we do have some good news, however, but I did want to announce that there are about 10 orders that we ran out of brisket on because my supplier uh, was delayed for about a month on the brisket. And I do have the vitamin D3 in stock that is corrected. So some of you guys had an issue where it was settling at the bottom, just send me an email and we'll send you guys out a new one. Uh, before I show you guys anything today, I will have something to eat. I have my water kefir and the jerky is ready. We should have the jerky next week, guys. It is absolutely delicious and what's amazing about that is because it's only salt and meat now there have been a couple of products from whole foods that i've liked a lot but this jerky just blows them all out of the water really really delicious i'm sure a lot of you guys have made jerky at home and it looks similar to this but when you're able to just use only meat a little bit of salt dry it at a low temperature instead of whatever these people are blasting it at in their commercial facilities really really amazing products so i'm gonna have some of this maybe some apples and pineapple and uh, cliff bars, but we'll see you guys in a little bit. So the dehydrator came with these, what I'm assuming are aluminum trays that aren't too perforated. So I spent about uh, $900 on some new steel racks, which is definitely a good investment. It's a piece of equipment I probably have for a very long time. I am a little bit worried about the water kefir because since it's cold in here, it's not gonna ferment at all. So hopefully we don't get behind because you guys have been purchasing a lot of it. We go into the depths of the freezer. Truly the depths when the lights off. With the launch of Best Burger Reviews, we have plenty of our Best Burger Custom Blend, which is a secret blend. I'll tell you guys, there's some chuck roll in there. But um, it, it's pretty good. I honestly wish I could have got it at a lower price point. Unfortunately, I have to charge $10 a pound for the best burger blend. Is it worth $10 a pound? You guys can try one or two out. Maybe we'll give it away one week just so you guys can try it. What's exciting to me is since we did get that band saw working a little bit, we have one of my favorite types of steak. We have a bone-in porterhouse T-bone steak, which is the New York strip on the right, the filet mignon on the left. These are really, really nice presentation for your family. So check these out, Porterhouse Steak. We're also going to have the bone-in rib steak cut a little thinner once that saw is back up and running. We do have some veal brains. We're getting more back in stock this week as well. The bone-in rib roast is back, and this is kind of what Frank Eastern Range Meat is offering for the holidays. If you guys want a nice centerpiece for your family, we have this beautiful four to five pound bone-in 100% grass-fed prime rib roast. Let me know if you guys want something bigger and I can do it like a seven or eight pound roast, but if not, uh, it's on demand, I'm not gonna do it. Organs looking okay. Th these are the orders that are missing brisket. So as I said, there's about 10 of them and, and guys, I'll try to get it out to you Monday as soon as possible. I'm very sorry about the delay. Uh, I've been jerking around a little bit. Did I show you guys the chicken feed the other week? Um, if you guys like using chicken feed in your uh, chicken broth, gelatin stock, soup, for when you're sick or you just like chicken soup during the warmer months. We got some couple of pork skins back in stock. These usually go really quickly. Uh, people always email me about them. Forgot to mention, I have uh, always have masticum with my meals and I'll probably chew a little bit after. If you guys aren't able to like brush your teeth or something after a meal, this is great for just 
cleaning your mouth. Just chew on it for a few minutes. So that's really it on the meat end. The, the marrow bones were cleared from customs. So now I just have to arrange the shipment of the marrow bones to here. Problem is it's like two whole pallets of marrow bones and my bandsaw isn't working. So this is basically the worst case scenario. So hopefully this guy fixes the bandsaw tomorrow and then when the um, the bones come in, we can cut them. Otherwise, I'm not so certain. I mean, thankfully, we have a lot of space in the freezer right now, so we can probably fit them. But we really got to cut the bones down to uh, a more manageable size so they don't take up so much bulk because the ends of the femur bones are very, like, large. And the knuckle bones, although normally we would boil them and sell them into a stock, you might just have to throw them out or give them away because they're, they're too heavy to ship right now. So let me show you guys what's going on down here this week. Now, I've done a video explaining every single one of these supplements and what I use them for, but I'll give a quick rundown. So vitamin K2 is the most important fat-soluble vitamin that people are deficient in because the gut bacteria is supposed to synthesize it, but people generally don't have correct gut bacteria. So incredibly important for magnesium and calcium regulation. Vitamin D3, we know. The important thing to note about vitamin D3 supplements is it should only be used to fix a deficiency. You should not be taking it above moderate blood levels. Copper, the antagonist to zinc. Normally, like especially a standard American diet, people shouldn't supplement copper, but when you come from carnivore and it's copper deficient, it's good to use for a month or two. Magnesium, the most important mineral, the only mineral I consistently supplement, but I use our uh, magnesium oil instead of the magnesium liquid. Sometimes I use both, but I like spraying this on. It gives me energy because it has MSM in it. Then we have vitamin B complex. Uh, probably the only other thing I take regularly because B vitamins get very depleted, especially when you eat a lot of carbs and pasta like I do. Trace minerals, manganese, boron, molybdenum. I might break this down into individual ones, but these are like the main minerals that aren't on the carnivore diet. They're higher in certain plant foods like beans. Antioxidant support. If you have a headache, it's glutathione, NAC, vitamin C, and ubiquinol. So if you have like a super bad headache or you're trying to fight off a cold, you can try this out. Iodine, I use this every day mainly for antiseptic purposes. Like I actually use it to rinse my nails, rinse my mouth. I even put some on my toothbrush and brush my teeth with it. Selenium, probably the most important mineral for the liver. A lot of people are deficient in it. And I usually take this like once every two weeks, a couple times a month. All the bovine powders, I mean, they're corresponding to the organs. And, and I'll link, uh, I'll probably link the video for these at the end. The macronutrient enzymes and the Carnivore enzymes, if you're carnivore or just on a regular diet, if you're having digestive issues and need help breaking it down and don't have a probiotic, you can use those. So I am experimenting with the pineal, the third eye a little bit. I'm not taking these other ones right now, but we have basically every gland you would want. You know, immune strike like thymus and lymph nodes, big brain, the brain tissue, pancreas. You guys can try these out. I, I was thinking of getting a whole like supplement production line to do pills and capsules but they're all on three phase electric. So I'm not gonna buy three machines and have them inverted and spend another ten, fifteen thousand dollars in electric bills in this building that I don't own. So we gotta figure that out sometime soon. Wi-Fi shielding is nothing special. I mean, everything's just kinda hanging out here. I was supposed to get those fabrics in, but the, the Chinese people increased the, uh, the price on the shipping and I'm kinda arguing with them. So hopefully we can get the winter clothes as soon as possible and my tailor can make them. Frankie's Naturals, as usual, I mean, both of these companies, you yeah, know, kind of stagnated. I'm not getting that many orders in, so I'll probably do some more videos showing you guys. The main thing I use every day is the deodorant. I use the, the tooth powder if I'm going to see some dirty girl. Um, the hair pomade I put in my hair a couple times a week. I don't use the black soap right now. What I actually do is I just use the uh, clay shampoo for my body and um, everything else, my hair. thing is, like, if you're really sweating and you actually smell it's going to be kind of hard to get the smell out with the clay shampoo so that's where the black soap comes in so i don't really have anything else to talk about today as i mentioned earlier i didn't really want to film a vlog this week because it's like already thursday and i'm going to film another vlog next week and i kind of wanted to to try to get the heat fixed and the bands all fixed and have everything kind of set the jerky ready to sell and everything for you guys next week but next week's going to be pretty big and i am um, um, I'm trying to stay happy and excited because these are the things that keep me going. You know, we launched, uh, we launched the best burger reviews this week. We got our blend. Uh, we got the jerky available now, and I'm constantly just trying to add more and more and more and just ma ma make the business profitable. And then 
once once I'm in the slaughterhouse, once I have my own facility, the profit margin is drastically increased and I can do everything I want to do, which is basically help people improve their health and their lives through nutrition. But unfortunately, it's like you have to play the same game as everyone else, like make as much money as possible, except instead of scamming people and buying Lamborghinis and mansions, I'm actually putting it back into the business and trying to help people. So that's going to be it. Thank you guys for joining me. I know a lot of you were very skeptical about me eating those burgers in the burger reviews. I'm going to address that in the day of eating that I will probably film tomorrow and explain how I deal with that. And to basically sum it up, it's just like kind of, yes, I'm sacrificing my health to some degree just to hopefully market more on the, on the like the normie uh, regular person and doing these burger reviews. So if you guys can go to frank-stefan.com, you can support me through all of my businesses. If you watch the video we did uh, two days ago on Tuesday, you can uh, see the link to the best burger review channel and check that out as well. But if you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again for joining me, guys. frank defilecom I'll see you for tomorrow. We'll do a, a quick day of eating and talk to you guys a little bit.